stop back shopping for ingredients for my iftar meal later tonight. There's nothing I enjoy doing like shopping and cooking for my family. I mean, what better way to earn more rewards in this month of Ramadan than cooking for your family? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Jamila Lawal. Welcome to Maggie Diaries. <laughs> So today I'm going to show you how to make a very special recipe. It's kind of different and it has a funny name. <laughs> it's called couscous. Uh, it's a meal that I think originated from Plato State. Well, you know in the north we grow a lot of acha, which is fonio. So this meal is um, actually made from beans and acha. So I'm just going to get down to um, telling you what my ingredients are, prepping them, and then we'll get down to cooking. <laughs> So I'm just gonna start by heating up my palm oil. Okay, I've got a clean pan here. So we'll add the palm oil first, and then we'll move on to our tomatoes and manja, the tarugu, the sour and so. So keep this here. All right, this is heating up already. So we don't want it really like smoking hot, you know. We just want it hot enough for the for our onions. So now this is good. I'm gonna add my onions first. Oh, okay, that's good. So we're just gonna saute this for about a minute and then we'll add the rest of the vegetables. So that's my tomato, the tarugu, the tatase. We're gonna go in now. I'm just gonna do this all at once. So I like to cook my beans um, when I have time, especially during the weekend. So once I need to use some for cooking, I just take out a portion that I know that, okay, this is, this is gonna be enough for me for my cooking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my dried fish, which I've already washed. Very important that you wash your fish with salted water and I've deboned this already. So I'm adding my fish. I'm gonna let it cook in the tomatoes to soften it and then get all that juice in, you know, and the flavors of the fish. So the next thing I'm gonna add now is my crayfish. Add my crayfish, I don't need so much, just about, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's in. Give this a quick stir. So now I'll need to add a little bit of water and let this come to a boil. Stir in here. Mm, it smells so good already. So good. So now I'm gonna add my Maggi Niger pots. But you know, it's not like all the time that I use just Niger pots. I like to mix it up sometimes, you know, to get the flavor of my Maggi star. And of course, my Niger pot. And it's gonna intensify the flavor of my fish. So, oh, this smells so good already. So, just to crumble in my Niger pots, you know. Mmm. I mean, what's the smell? What's this couscous meal without Niger pots in it? All right, here we go. And then to my Maggi star. This is the classic one. You know, it has this, this unique classic flavor. And you still want to add even when you have Niger pots also. Sometimes I do that, so. All right, this is great. So now I'm gonna go ahead and Quickly give my acha a stir. So I'm gonna give this acha a quick wash. So traditionally, acha is being washed is usually washed with calabash, but then I don't have a calabash in my home, and not a lot of people have calabash. So this is good. So I'm just gonna get another bowl so that we can really get the dirt and sand off. So. And I remember when I was little, my mom taught me how to do this, you know? So you use two bowls or two calabashes, and then you just keep shaking it gradually until you get the clean one out. All I've got left is the clean part. So this is done. And my acha is clean. Clean acha. All right, this goes straight into my pot. Okay, this is boiling really nicely. And it smells so good too. I can get the fish, you know? My Maggi Niger pots, my crayfish, everything all coming up together. So add this in. Careful with your acha. You know, acha really um swells, so be careful on the quantity that you're using. 
So I'm gonna give this a stir, okay? And then I'll cover it up for a bit once my acha becomes soup. So I'll come back here once my acha is cooked, almost cooked through so that I can add my beans and then let everything come together. You know, acha cooks really very fast, so you have to I'm checking up on it. <laughs> All right, so let's give this a look. This is how I want it to look. My acha is almost cooked through, so I'm just gonna add my beans now. Some beans, let's see. All right, your acha, your beans, and it's a fiber-rich meal, you know? So this is looking good already. So I'm just gonna let this simmer for a few minutes. When we come back, I'll finish it off with my spring onions. <laughs> so oh my goosegoose is ready i'm just gonna turn the heat off and the last thing i'm gonna add is my spring onions so i want this to remain green on top of it oh look how beautiful this is and tasty too i assure you that all right when we come back i'll be plating my goosegoose <laughs> don't you just love how gorgeous this looks all of the vegetables and my spring onions is so inviting. I can't wait to have a try. All right, this looks so good, and I hope you'll be trying it at home too. Bismillah. Mm. This tastes so yum. It's so good. It's like comfort food. I've started spending the whole day of fasting. <laughs> I wish I could share some with you, but <laughs> you've got to try this at home. Honestly, it's so nice, so delicious. I'm just, ah, it's so good. <laughs> just like a lot Harry for watching. Don't forget to join me tomorrow, inshallah, for another very interesting episode of Maggie Diaries. Remember to follow us on our social media pages at Maggie underscore Nigeria on Instagram and at Maggie Nigeria on Facebook. Assalamu alaikum. I'm a vice principal, I'm a teacher. I'm also the assistant administrator of the hostel in the school where I work. The broad answer, I train, I facilitate, I counsel, I write, I give talks. Anything that helps a person grow, that's what I do for a living. Ramadan is a time for reflecting upon where, I'm, where I've been, where I am, and where I'd like to be spiritually in particular and in regard to my interaction with others. It's a time for looking inwards and learning to let go of what's not helping me move forward and learning to hold on to what's helping me grow as a Muslim, as a human being. It's special because it seems to be, you know, the way you have these summer camps or holiday camps or like the Islamic vacation course where you have a short period and it's concentrated with a lot of good stuff. Yes, there are times when one is really hungry or really thirsty in Ramadan, but there are also those times where one feels the sense of urgency to get the most out of it with regard to one's ibadah, with one's improvement of one's behavior, your thoughts, your focus. That sense also of togetherness, that I'm not alone in this, and there are so many of us across the world who are on this journey together. These things make it special. I find it difficult sometimes, especially in the mornings, because if I have to be at work by seven o'clock, it means right after Sohur, then go get ready for work, then go to work. So there's not much time to bring in the recitation of the Quran itself or reading of the Quran or writing. So the mornings feel difficult. In the afternoons at about two, three, which is my usual lunch time, then the hunger pangs begin and at the same time you still have to work, you still have to be productive and not use Ramadan as an excuse for not being productive. So that balance can be a bit difficult. 
but we get by because it's a Muslim school. It makes it even easier because you look around and everybody's fast and you just tell yourself, you've got to get up and go to work. Ramadan is not an excuse. Recitation of the Quran. I increase recitation of the Quran. I increase my dua, my adhkar. Then I include the tahajjud, qiyamul inshallah. Some days I don't, but most days I try. It's like, kind of like graduation day, but without that sense of, I'm done. It's like graduation day and promotion day put together. <laughs> I've worked this hard and I'm here today. And Alhamdulillah, that Ramadan was good. And already you are thinking, Inshallah, may Allah preserve me till the next one. May I take some of the habits from Ramadan with me as I'm going through these months before the next Ramadan. So it has that combination of graduation plus promotion. Ah, ah, ah.